Hey guys, this is Joe Campanelli here with Jordan Salcido for eHow.com. And today we're gonna to talk about our favorite glassware to pair with your favorite wines. When choosing glassware for wine, there are a few things that you always want to remember. The first and most important thing is that your glass should be absolutely clear so that you can see your wine. Uh, number two, I really like wines that, wine glasses that have a great stem. This here is called a uh, stemless glass. As you see, it has no stem. This is a perfect glass for water. I would choose not to serve any wine in that at all. Um, the other thing that you want to look for in a glass is for the top of the glass to be more narrow than the widest portion of it. Um, at the widest part, you'll be able to put all of your wine in here and when you swirl it, you want to make sure that the wine isn't going to escape and that's why the top is going to be more narrow. And then you just need a glass that is large enough so that you can pour a decent pour for your wine and you still have some room at the top for swirling. Now Jordan, what do you like to do um, for if you're at home? Do you have a different glass for each wine? I know there's such a huge array of glassware out there. You know, we, we do have a lot of glassware at my house. Um, but I bet you do, but <laughs> do you think that it's necessary for most people to have? No, I, I don't. I mean, I think, you know, the, you see so many different types of glassware. If you have, at, at Crown, we, we call this like an all-purpose white or an all-purpose red. Um, I do think certain grapes do um, benefit from a little bit more um, air. So a, gr a glass like this one right here, in this, this red wine glass. So red wines have tannins. Um, tannins do something called polymerize, which is where they all link together and they become soft and silky with exposure to oxygen. And so that's why you have a bigger bowl here. And that's, that's one of the reasons why you have a bigger bowl. Um, and you know, also you, you give the, the wine a little bit of a chance to, to open up with that exposure to oxygen so that you, um, you do get a, the benefit of all of those aromatics when you take a, a sip from that glass. Um, the, the other one, so um, Joe and I were talking a little bit about the champagne flutes and, and you know, do, you, do you need a champagne flute? And we were both just saying that when we drink champagne, we actually rarely drink it from a champagne glass. We actually use a white wine glass um, because for, for a few different reasons. One is because, well, Joe, you want to take it from here? Oh, sure. I mean, the champagne flute is the ideal glass for showcasing all of the beautiful bubbles in your sparkling wine. But if you really want to taste the wine and understand it and appreciate it, the champagne flute is terrible because you're going to fill it up all the way to the top and it has a very small surface area, so you really can't get much out of it, though you can see all the beautiful bubbles. We really like to drink our wines um, out of either a white wine or red wine glass. And I say our wines because sparkling wines are just wines that happen to have bubbles in them. It's a nice, really added textural feature to your wines. So if it's a good sparkling wine, it's going to showcase really, really well in, in either one of those glasses. And then we have one other really interesting glass here. This is called a uh, tulip glass. And it's used for after dinner drinks, especially high alcohol after dinner drinks like, like grappa or brandy. And the idea here is that when you have a very high alcohol spirit, you're, you don't want to swirl it. Um, with wines, you swirl so that you can get all of the wine to come to the top and you'll vaporize all of the really aromatic particles in the wine. But in a spirit, if you do the same thing, it's, you're going to really singe your nose because you're going to vaporize all the alcohol esters, which are the flavor compounds. So this glass will concentrate the flavor particles and leave some of those more astringent alcohol esters or alcohol flavors down in the glass. So this is a really nice glass to have, but really if you're going to have just one glass, I would say choose something either like this, uh, which we in shorthand called a white wine glass or maybe a Riesling glass even, or, or this, uh, which we can call a Bordeaux glass or really an all-purpose glass. Mm -hmm. And if you say an AP glass or an all-purpose glass in the industry, um, there's a good reason for it because a glass like this will do everything for you. So remember, when choosing glassware for your home, first thing to remember is to have a glass with a stem, number one. It should be clear so you can see the wine. 
The top should be more narrow than the widest part so that you can swirl it and the wine won't fall out. And it should be of a good enough size so you can pour your friends a pretty hefty pour but without overflowing the glass. And my favorite wine glass is always a full one. Uh, so we're Jordan Salcido and Joe Campanelli for eHow.com. Tune into eHow for more. Cheers.